In this video we're going to look at making cornhole boards on the CNC. But first take a moment just to like and subscribe to the channel, thanks. So first thing we have to do is zip on over to the American Cornhole Organization website check out the dimensions for the cornhole boards because we want them to be regulation boards we don't want to go just winging it and that will tell us the size, the height of the ground, the size of the outside shape and the size of the hole also tells you the size of the bags and all that good stuff so we're going to check that first so first what I did was modeled up the entire assembly that's the two legs, the frame and the board with the hole in it. Once we have that, the hardest part I think and the most accurate part is the leg. So we're going to do that first and just laid out that model and got it ready for setting up the CNC and then did a little test run just to uh, simulate the cutting. Make sure we can cut that hole in the middle, cut the outside shape and everything should work perfectly. I'm actually doing this as two operations, going to do the hole first, which is uh, basically cutting a bore, and then it's going to be a profile second, all with the same tool, so we can do it all in one go, and then we'll set it up on the machine and actually cut the leg. Obviously, once we cut one leg, we can cut four legs or 40 legs or however many legs we want, so that's the beauty of CNC. And I'm just using some scrap 2x4. <clears throat> the whole construction, the frame and the legs are all 2x4s. Very cheap here in the States. You can pick them up for like $3 each for an 8 foot 2x4. So I make the whole thing very cheap. I'm essentially just going to set this up in the uh, in my clamps normal way. Got some sacrificial boards there so I can cut all the way down on the outside and just let it cut the profile. You can see that the quarter inch cutter is cutting a half inch hole. So it's actually just uh, moving itself around till it makes that hole nice and round. Good size. And I'll go the whole way down that cutter so that it cuts all the way through. I do have a piece of uh, sacrificial um, board underneath the 2x4. So it's not actually cutting into my um, spoil board. It's actually going to cut into a sacrificial board underneath just a piece of uh, hard board under there. Then it's going to move on, just cut the profile, and what it's going to do is run along the side, cut the radius at the top end, come down the other side, and then cut the foot at the right angle. And that I, I measured all that on the CAD, so when it cuts this to size, it should have the board standing 12 inches off the ground. Um, it's kind of funny because I work everything in metrics. I, I uh, actually did the conversions so it's actually going to be in millimeters when I measure it but it's allegedly supposed to be 12 inches off the ground So as you can see this is going to cut the profile and the hole is already in but the profile now is going to be perfectly positioned around that hole. The radius is perfectly positioned around the center of the hole and it's just going to make a nice profile out of this piece of rough 2x4. The only um, treatment I did to the 2x4 before I put it up there is I did joint the bottom of it. So the bit that you can't see, the surface you can't see. I actually ran through the jointer so it was nice and flat so it wasn't wobbling around when I had it clamped there. And that's the angle cut and that angle was measured on the CAD again so I actually set up the assembly, put the uh, pivot into the hole, into the frame, dropped the leg down and then measured across from the bottom of the frame uh, to make sure that it was standing 12 inches above the ground 
and took the angle from that. So it should be as near as you can get it. And I know normally if you're making this without CNC, you just basically put those legs up, rest the thing up till it's 12 inches and then put a straight line on it and then cut through that. Well, this is even easier because it's all done for you ahead of time. And like I said, once you've done one, you can do as many as you like. So that's basically the leg done. And I'm only going to do the legs in this video. Next one will be the frame. And I'll probably do the uh, the actual board on top with the hole in it in that same video. So look out for part two. That'll be coming soon. If you're interested in the Fusion 360 files for this, feel free to just leave me a message down below. And I'll be more than happy to provide them for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.